Well, hi there, Cancer, and welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on your energies, here's your weekly reading. Now, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest for everyone else. Because it is general, you may want to look at the forecast for your moon and rising, and there is a link in the description if you need to calculate yours. Okay, so we're just going to put down some foundational cards here, and then we'll get started. Thanks, Spirit. Lots of foundational cards, apparently, for everyone this period. Wow, okay, lovely. Oops. So what do we have? We have the Six of Fire. We have the Emperor. We have the Ace of Fire. We have the king of fire. We have the six of earth and the eight of earth. Talk about being fired up here. These are fabulous cards. Really fabulous. Okay. So, hey, if this the, the reading does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you want to claim the reading, or just tell me where you're watching from. I always get a kick out of that. Throw a comment below the video. Oh, and thanks again for your likes. Thank you so much for subscribing and support the channel. Clicking that little button, I appreciate you. Let's get started, shall we? So, Six of Fire. This is about stepping into the limelight, not being afraid to show people what, who you are. This is about that transformation, uh, you know. Well, first of all, Cancer, you're not a wallflower, okay? You're the most giving and delicious sign and you know it's okay to be in the forefront it's okay to be out there and there's nothing wrong with you know showing people uh what you're made of you know showing people how strong you are and you have the emperor and the emperor is about rules and you know you like to follow the rules you know you know exactly what needs to get done and people, you know, in authority are coming to your aid this week to give you good advice. Uh, so have, um, have confidence that you're getting the right information from people that from those authorities. You may be dealing with institutions like banks or governments or schools during this time period. You've got this ace of fire, you know, and the ace of fire is about inspiration. It's about spirit-driven action. It's about transformation, you know, standing your ground and working in a way that's smarter, not harder. A lot of creative um, abilities are coming to the forefront when you align with spirit this week and, and just having confidence in your own abilities and being open to the vision without that rigidity for new ideas that are coming in. And I really think it's the, they're going to pay off. You've got these um, the six of earth and you've got the eight of earth. And the six of earth is about surprises, happy surprises, unexpected resources coming to you. So it could be money. It could be um, through through some kind of little unexpected gift from the universe. Um, it, it could be something tangible arriving in a pretty package, a gift from spirit. Um, these treasures that you didn't think were possible or ideas that become illuminated. And with the aid of earth, this is about you're gaining more knowledge. Maybe some of you are thinking about going back and taking additional classes. This is about uh, learning uh, new skills, new crafts, and and ways to to get earn money without being the master of your uh, of this um, uh, the master. So, for example, let's say you were working with um, government. Uh, so maybe you're working in the courts, and you're you you um, you're not have that specific certification but somehow you're making money while you're gaining that certification. Um, maybe you're, I, I see a lot of you in positions that help others. So uh, it could be with the courts, with family. It could be with um, 
uh, something with children, something, you know, maybe you're a teacher, or maybe you're, um, a t uh, and you're going and you got your teacher certificate, but you haven't gotten whatever that next level is. So there's something with certifications here, something that is in, in a position that helps others, um, I know with banks, you know, you don't think it really helps others, but some of the people that go into banking really want to help the customer because banking can be a little bit overwhelming. So, um, or the government to help with social programs. So there's a lot of different ways to be in institutions. Maybe you work for the Veterans Association. Uh, maybe you're working in um, a state-run hospital. So lots of different ways that you're helping others in all the professions that you're doing, maybe you're a title officer and, you know, the research on this title might be um, uh, difficult and, you know, the people that are buying really want this resolved as soon as possible. So let's get some clarification. Thank you. From the smallest deck in the world. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Okay, so what do we have here for clarification? So this is spirit reminding you that you are strong, you are mighty. You are standing up in your, in your power. All right, even though it doesn't say this here, somebody's spirit is just clamoring in my ear. Um, this is a gal, aunt, great aunt. Okay. Somebody's aunt or great aunt that's in here, and she's um, a little stoic, um, stern, and she's <laughs> she's she's not that funny. She's scaring me uh, in a way because she's like very dumb, you know, um, very uh, stern, and she's like, "Why are you putting up with this?" So there's somebody in somebody's space here uh, that is causing you some agita, some grief, some drama. And she's like, just tell them like it is. You've got this. So I just have to point that out so she will leave me alone and, and will not be distracting me while I'm continuing this reading. So if that resonates with you, please throw a comment below. But she's like, yeah, yeah, this is you. You are strong. You are mighty. There is some kind of ending to the way that you're approaching um, situations here, um, you're, you're stepping into your power. You're transforming the, um, the new beginning is now. And it's a, and it's a time for you to celebrate, celebrate, um, maybe with family. Maybe you have, um, some kind of event that you're planning or attending, but this is also about celebrating the, the, the windfall, the money that's coming with this, with this uh, six and the eight of earth and with the three of wands, um, you've got this um, opportunity to look back on where you were to where you are now and how you're moving forward. So this, by the way, the nine of wands, the death card, the 10 of pentacles and the three of wands. So all in all, a really, actually really good reading for you as you are taking charge, you're getting motivated, you're all fired up, enthusiastic about tomorrow, standing in your power, not allowing people to um, play on that sensitive side to the, of the most generous zo uh, sign in the zodiac. Uh, but this, but you'll have that reason to celebrate the win, celebrate the money that's coming, and look back on where you've, where you, how far you've grown, and that's really going to be your benefit this period. So, good for you. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes to support the channel. Click on that little button, and we will see you next time. Take care.